guys that when I spoke to you, so at this time I'm going to introduce to you uh, our immediate past president, Marguerite Lincoln. You know, uh, she has been a uh, really a tremendous asset to the Chamber of Commerce this past year. You've had a lot of challenges uh, in many ways. Uh, you've had challenges in your personal life, in your business. Uh, the Chamber's had ch challenges, the Village is having challenges in this, this economy we have. But Marguerite brought us through many of the challenges at the Chamber and uh, did it with a smile. And we've had some great meetings. Uh, she uh, would rule the meetings uh, with an iron fist, but always showed a little humor and kept us laughing too. So uh, she's done an excellent job for us. And uh, I'd like to introduce you now. And uh, as I say for all of us, uh, thank you, Marguerite, for all you've done. And we really appreciate it. Marguerite Mickett. Marguerite. pleasure to be here with all of you and see so many people that are still coming every year to this. I, I think it speaks well of the Chamber. We've gone on for a good long time with a great deal of success. I see a lot of new faces this year and I'm pleased about that because as time goes by and new businesses come into town, we know that they will understand how much the Chamber of Commerce does for them. We're so fortunate to be in an excellent community such as Lombard. It's a great place for business. Ooh, I don't want to repeat that. Who says that all the time? Uh, <laughs> anyway, our village president, Bill Mueller, has been an integral part of the chamber for many, many years. And his business connections in the community as a small businessman have served well to be a spokesman to guide us along the way very often. And we most appreciate that. The village has combined with us this year to work on different kinds of problems that are very, very important to the business people in the community, big and small. Very often, it's easy to let something slide by and think, oh, well, they'll take care of that. But we now have the village working hand in hand with us on signage, which in various ways affects almost every businessman here and, I, and woman. And I think that uh, we can pat ourselves on the back this year because we got together a very nice working uh, order for us to get along not only with the village but with one another working together to continue to uh, grow and prosper in spite of con an economy that makes it rather difficult. I don't really have a great deal to say. I hope you've been reading the newsletters all year because I said about all of it there. And I thank all of you for being members and maintaining your membership. And I thank this tremendously fine board that I worked with this year. They were really excellent. They worked together. We had a good time. We accomplished a lot. And much of that board will be your board for 2010. And I think that you'll see that it will be just marvelous. And I think that we can also count on the economy taking an upswing, however slowly. Now, I want to say something about Paul, the incoming president. But I have to think that over very carefully because whenever I'm going to say his last name, uh, not guacamole, Guardenti. <laughs> <laughs> and so for those of you who have trouble with that name, he pointed out if you think of guacamole, you won't have a problem. <laughs> Just remember the rest of it. So I'm pleased to say that as we finish up this first decade, of our new millennium, that we have things in place, some great people, you're going to meet them all as they come up here and are installed, and I hope that you continue to have an interest and take an active part in your Chamber of Commerce, and good luck to all of you. Thank you very much for the opportunity to be of service in this capacity. I've enjoyed it tremendously, and look forward to watching it continue to grow and prosper. Thank you.